And welcome back on this Wallet Wednesday. You know, social media is a power tool, not just for information and for the enjoyment of watching viral videos, but also for business. I feel like I use it mostly for viral videos, yeah, but I, I could be using it to, to make some money here. Services like Facebook and Twitter can actually be used to your advantage to boost your bank account or even land your dream job. Joining us live with some tips is Jessica Zweig, the founder and CEO of the personal branding firm, Simply Be. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely. I'm, I'm interested in this topic because I think this is something that we're going to see really just be a thing for more and more businesses in this connected age. I mean, how, how can we use it to our advantage just ourselves if we're trying to connect with people on social media, maybe networking or, or trying to get a job? Yeah, totally. So it's no longer a, a nice to have in today's 2020 world of, of doing business. It's a must have to show up online clearly, consistently, effectively, if you want to cut through the noise and, and connect to grow your business. And we do that through connecting with people. And so I would really encourage people to think about, well, what are your current social media platforms look like right now? Do they represent you? Do they represent a full professional human picture? Are we just sharing viral videos or are we adding value? And for most people, they don't even know what their value is. So I would really start there with understanding what's the story I wanna tell? How do I actually create content that's of service to other people? And that's how you build authority and that's how you start to create credibility and respect and become the go-to for people to then call you and it's, it's a very powerful way of, of networking, if you will. Yeah, yeah, not just sharing memes, right. <laughs> actually creating oh. some original content. Uh, so, you know, you talk about curating platforms to express, you know, what makes you unique and maybe impress any potential employers. So how do you go about doing that? Yeah, so, you know, branding, I'm in personal branding. So my clients are entrepreneurs, executives, that's who I work with. And clarity is, is king, right? Branding is an exercise in clarity. So I often say, let's pick three to four cornerstone topics that represent your professional expertise and who you are as a person, because you have to be clear today to cut through. So we start there and then let's zoom up and beyond social media, you know, if you want to be seen as a thought leader, and that's what, you know, people want to be seen as the person to go to in their industry, you have to think. That's why they call you a thought leader. So let's create blogs. Let's power our platforms through video. Podcasts are a really powerful medium today. Webinars, email marketing. These are really cornerstone pinnacle pieces of content to showcase depth and then to really micro that out through social media is, you know, the, the second step. And that's that's really how you build a platform. Okay. So I guess kind of on the on the flip side of things, if you're looking at it from the business side, if, if you have, you know, your own small business, how how critical is social media in all of that in this day and age? I mean, we're, you know, coming through the hopefully second half of a pandemic, right? And quarantine has is, is changed all of our lives and the ways in which we market ourselves has to be online. And so as a small business, you really don't have a choice. It's the only way we're going to be able to communicate. And so really thinking about you know, which social media channels make the most sense for your business. You do not have to be on every single one. I think Instagram, LinkedIn, Clubhouse just came out. That's really exciting. Facebook is great if you have some advertising dollars to grow awareness. But as a small business, you, you just have to optimize and spend time on social media to amass your customer and client base. There really is no other choice. I often say you'll lose out on the client or the opportunity not because you're not great, but because people don't know you exist. So you have to, you have to get online today. You just oh. do. Really quickly, I know you have a new book out. Where can people find it? Yes, I can just flash it real quick. It's called B and it came out a week ago and it's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and wherever you can buy your books, local bookshops. But it's a deep dive in how to really build a platform um, authentically is what my book's about. Excellent. Cool. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for the advice. It's a good, good motivation boost to get yeah. back on the internet and create. No more just meme sharing. Yes. Okay. It's too easy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And of course, if you want to pick up a copy of Jessica's new book, B, we're going to put all the info you need on coin.com.